Plus, one other thing I wanted to show you is how you can view historical maps. Up here at the top of the buttons up here, there's a little clock with a little green arrow going counterclockwise to send you back. And when you click on that, then you can look at different pictures. For instance, let me turn. Let me go ahead and turn that off. I'm just going to tap it again to turn it off. Let me show you an example here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Over here, they're, they're East Campus locations. So here we are, James Madison University. There's the old part of campus over over there. Here's the newer part over here. And let's take a look at this. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this part of the campus. And I'm going to turn this back on. Boom. There we go. Now you see now. It actually has the, the default map. Look, look right over here. This is the East Campus Library. When I turn that off, the default map, which is the highest resolution map, shows it as a parking lot. It doesn't even show the building that was built in 2008. You turn this on, and it shows that there is a newer image. It's not as detailed. So if I was to come over here and zoom in, you can see it's not as detailed. But if I, if I zip back to the 2006 image, or there's a 2007 one showing it being under construction. There's the 2006 one, and this one is very detailed, as you can tell. I mean, we're certainly seeing the cars, the windshields. There's two cars all in this guy's tailgating. I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> uh, so you go back. We can go back to the point of where it was a parking lot. Now, this one's pretty grainy, so it's not a very crisp image. But it is one of those images you can use. Go back again. Whoa, look over here. Very different. Uh, this building has disappeared. That was up here, this building right there. It was just these two. Now they're, so I'm going to go back again. Oh, it's disappeared. Go back again. Go back again. Here we are in 1994. Whoa, it's all gone. Now we do have the roads. We still see those. Basically because one of the things you've got over here is a thing called, let me pull this up, a layers in Google Earth. And I should point that out to you because in here, you can turn things on and off. So if I don't want to see the roads, I can uncheck that and the roads disappear. But if I do want to see where the roads are and, and overlay it on top of <laughs> the, the current map or a historical map to see where they were going to be, you click like that. But the, this was like farmland. Uh, and there wasn't even the, the bridge over the interstate, I-81, didn't even exist back then. You pop it up here. There's the bridge over the interstate. So things do change quite a bit. It's also interesting, you know, another place you could go to that has some great f uh, footage is, you heard of Cupertino, California, that where Apple's headquartered and also some HP offices. Actually, they're sold out. And actually, Apple is going to be building on the HP site in Cupertino. They've bought the land and are planning on building something new. Well, we can look at the future, but we can also go back. Now, over here, I'm going to zoom in for you. Now here is the Apple campus, inf one infinite loop, the famous place, and you see that's right there. Over here is the new land that Apple has bought, uh, that they're going to build their new spaceship, oops, <laughs> that they're going to build their new spaceship uh, uh, building. Well, if I want to go back in time and look at this, I can slip back here and go to year 2000, see how much things have changed, go back to 1993. We'll check this out. One infinite loop wasn't even fully here. Let me go forward again just to show you for comparison. See, there's all those buildings. They don't even exist when you go in the timeline and you go back to 1993. You see, when the Macintosh was first created, it wasn't built in those famous buildings that everyone sees, you know, the outside of Apple. No, that's not where Steve Jobs and Wozniak worked. No, they worked over in these buildings over here in Bandley, uh, on Bandley Drive. That's where they were working. So you can go back even farther. Let's see. Wow, 1948. <laughs> it was all orchards. Whether you're talking about this campus over here, whether you're talking over here. Now, in fact, let's just go ahead and zoom in on the Apple campus, and we'll show you. These are just... So there's one infinite loop, <laughs> and I could turn those roads off. But there you go. That was all orchards, crops, fruit trees, that type of thing. Things change a lot. So it gives you a chance to go back in time and see what it was like and how things might be in the future because you can actually overlay some other content on here and get an idea of where things are going and see how things have sprawled. It may help you out in research or just having fun. Um, there's lots of other things in the layers that you may want to look at. Other historical imagery you might want to look at is under this gallery. These little triangles, you tap on them and it pulls down additional options. And there's actually Rumsey historical maps. And when you go to those, I'm going to zoom way out here. So 
when you get those, you click on this and you actually get a map. And then you can say overlay in Google Earth. So you can look at this historical map and you click on that and it loads it. Then I can come over here and I can zoom it in. And I can overlay this map over top of the imagery. Let's go to a more modern map that's really good. Zoom out. And I can also, uh, by clicking on this item, this is over my places area. I just have to click on it because I actually downloaded this North American map. And then I can adjust, this right here is a transparency. Uh, so you, if I slide that to the left, I can see through it a little better. So you can kind of see how the map is. And they've already laid it in the right way over top. Let me show you another great map that's fun to take a look at. You want to see the globe as it was seen uh, eons ago? Let me show you. Uh, eons isn't quite right, but uh, if we were to go... Is it this one? Yeah, well, you know, that, that's the star chart. Here's a great one. Overlay on Google Earth. This one's going to overlay over the entire globe. So now you have a historical, let me hit N to bring it right straight back up to north. And there you go, you've got a historical map that you can look at and even rotate around. And you know with screen capture utilities uh, like ScreenFlow or Apple's QuickTime, you can actually record a video of the spinning globe and add it to some other project that you're working on, showing the world as it was perceived back then with a lot less detail up here around Alaska and even over out west, a lot less detail. So whole globe kind of thing. Historical maps layer, lots of other layers. Feel free to explore these. I don't, I'm not going to go over every one of these layers. I'll be talking about some in some future videos, but feel free to explore these and, and play with them and turn things on and see what's out there. Keep in mind, whenever you download a file, it's going to show up under places. The layers are under layers. That's where you can just turn stuff on and off, such as borders. I'm going to turn borders off. Notice the yellow lines disappeared along the side of the North American coast. There you go. All right. Have some fun.